guys welcome back to the man cave welcome back to the show today i'm a little i'm a little worried i just saw a hawk fly by and i've got some chickens over there just got them this weekend so uh yeah it kind of freaked me out today we got a great show we got uh an easy upgrade an easy fix as you can tell by the thumbnail we are replacing the uh mirror side the side mirror marker light turn signals if you needed to replace your bulb or if you needed to replace the lens uh this is a good video for you if you want to upgrade it like i'm about to do to the uh the dually it's also definitely a video for you so let's get after it let's show you those lights what i picked out for it hopefully it's going to look good I don't know, first mod for the dually. Let's check it out. So these are the lights, guys. These are LED marker and turn signal lights. I got these off Amazon. I will uh, put a link in the description below if you are interested in these lights. Uh, they are IJD jdm toy they make a lot of lights for a lot of things a lot of led upgrades for your automotive needs uh, this is gonna be my first time checking it out i did buy them they're not sponsored though they're clear and uh they're leds so you got the led hookups and they're well labeled this is led uh turn this is led running light so shouldn't be too hard to figure out as long as we make sure we got them right here and that'll come out pretty good so let's get after it and i'll show you guys how you can take those little these little lights off the inside of that mirror without destroying your mirror or destroying your light so there's only a few things that you got to do to remove this whole lens cover as you can see, I, I thought maybe you could pop it out, but after further research, it's a little more in depth. So the first thing you wanna do is adjust your mirror and you want to adjust it all the way in. So that way it goes in as far as it can. And you've got a little sliver right here. I don't know if you guys can see in that little sliver. You see that little piece of metal right there? That's a tab. Yeah, that tab right there. So from the indication I got, all you have to do is get a screwdriver or something that you can get between this mirror and that housing. And you wanna kinda of push that tab and uh, pry on it just a little bit and it should pop these out. So I'm gonna try this left-handed. I am gonna use just a screwdriver. And I don't know if y'all be able to see, there it is right there. It's got a little bit of movement. Of course, I'm watching through my camera, so it's very hard for me. I wanna make sure y'all can see what I got going on here. There it goes. Yeah, you see it? That's all you had to do. It's all that's required. You pull this out, pull a little extra wire, and you can come in here and change your bulb if you need to. And that should just be simply by twisting them, just like any other bulb on most vehicles. There we go. And out comes the bulb. Now if your bulb is blown, Real easy fix, just put your new bulb in here. I don't know which kind it is, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same kind that you put up there. So, yeah, it's just the tab bulbs. These little bulbs, I will see, uh, I may put what kind of bulb that is in the description below. So if you're interested in replacing the OEM light, the same kind of OEM light, and yours is not damaged or anything, I should have that down there for you so you can get the right bulb. 
Other than that, let's just proceed on changing these out. And to make sure that they're in the proper orientation, what you can do is turn your vehicle on, put on your marker lights and your flasher. And that way, when you, when you plug these up or you put these in the right orientation, that they are correct. This is the turn light. So this would definitely not be the passenger. This is gonna be the driver's side. Make sure it's the correct orientation. Turn up top. The bulbs done got hot. Some bulbs are mighty bright. All right, so I plugged that in. Oops. I've got that plugged in, the daytime running light, and it's not on. Normally, it's because you've got the plug reversed, so it's not making contact. Wiggle it back out, flip it over, plug it back in. There we go. Oh, wow, they both blink. Do I like that? Maybe. Maybe I like it. Let's see. Let's turn the blinker off. Ooh. Wow. Holy cow. That is freaking awesome. That is super bright. How about that? It blinks. Both of them blink. Oh my gosh. That's just the running lights. Dude. Oh my gosh. That looks. That looks. Freaking beautiful. Just get your wires in here somehow so they don't get jacked up and pinched. And you're putting this dude back together. Now the fitment is something I am unsure of. Well, that wasn't bad. So as far as the fitment goes, uh, not much difference right here and right there. They both are uh, angled to catch. But right here on the end, this is another uh, part that helps this light stay in the housing. Is right here, as you can see that little nipple so when it goes in, it has something to grab. Unlike these, they're just smooth. So they're just wedged in there. So really the only thing holding it in there is the back side of this catch inside the mirror. And if you're having trouble, I was having a little trouble earlier. I was having a little trouble earlier uh, on the driver's side as it, you know, when I installed it, and I'd put a little pressure to make sure it wouldn't come out. It just kept popping right back out. But what I ended up doing, I noticed that, you know, uh, that little piece right there was just a wedge and it didn't have a tip on it. 
So I'm assuming that you gotta make sure that this piece grabs. So your wiring, when you're tucking that wiring in and back inside here, you know, the sockets aren't screwed in like they are on the uh, OEM with the tabs. So you've got that whole socket in the way and you've got some extra wire. You just wanna make sure there's nothing uh, pressing up against like a wire and some plastic causing that gap for this not to uh, seat in all the way. And you should just be fine. Uh, mine seems pretty strong now. I was pulling on it a little bit, not super hard, but you gotta remember there's gonna be vibration, lots of vibration, so the, you don't want your uh, light to fall out of the housing. So just keep that in mind and let's get this broken one. Let's get this broken one replaced. So we're gonna try to come in here and see if we can't find a plastic tab. There it is right there. There we have it, guys. Just like that, didn't take very long at all. What a cool upgrade. They look really good, even during the daytime. They are so much brighter than like the marker lights or uh, clearance lights. Yeah, I may have to do some more upgrading. Anyway, I think it looks cool. Man, it looks so much better. And then of course it flashes uh, in amber. So anyhow, guys, I hope that helped you out on uh, your project. If you're working on a Ford series with these style tow mirrors, 350, I think maybe the 250s have them, 450s. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Another upgrade down, another improvement installed. That's the way we like to do it over here in the man cave. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, we'll catch you guys later. Guys, this is how bright they are at night. Look at that light shining down on the ground. It's a little bit brighter on camera, but still. Very bright.